Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Sci-Fi Revotech Jesse from Toy Story. First, let me say that this is my first Sci-Fi Revotech product, and it's my only. I found it on Amazon for about $27 a few years ago. I think it was right around the time we made our doll berry farm, or was it the photo booth? Since I store it in the box, I'm going to say that it qualifies as an unbox daily because technically I am going to unbox it for like the 20th time. On the front of the box, we can see Jessie and we see that she comes with multiple hands, a few accessories, and different facial expressions. Over here, it says, Sci-Fi Revotech, powered by Revotech, produced and manufactured by Kaiyoto. Series number 48, sculpted by Matsumoto, uh, Aichiro? Sorry, my Japanese is a little rusty. And other than that, that is pretty much the only thing that I can read on this box because everything else is written in Japanese. And I used to be able to read Japanese a long time ago, but honestly, I can't read any of this now. Use it or lose it! Jessie, get back in the box! We haven't done the unboxing yet. On the back of the box, we can see Jessie and all of the different ways that she can be posed. This is truly one of my favorite items in my whole collection. I mean, look at all of the different things you can do. We can make her look happy, glad, and sad. And at the bottom corner, you can see the other characters that are available. However, when it comes to current availability, I really have no idea because I bought mine a few years ago. I just did a quick search on Amazon and it says new and used from $192. Ouch. However, you can find Buzz, Woody, and Bullseye for a lot less. On the side of the box, there are illustrations for how the joints move. And it says that this product is recommended for ages 15 and up. Now let's take her out of the box for a closer look. <laughs> out of the box, it is possible to balance her so she can stand on her own. However, this is the first time that I noticed there was something taped underneath. I believe this is a stand. It has two little pegs. There are two little holes in the heel of her shoes. And look, it says Andy, just like in the movie, because you know, Andy writes his name on all of his toys. And I'm gonna place her heels on the pegs. I was only able to get one to fit. So I am still pretty convinced that this is a stand. And if it's not, I am still going to use it as one. She stands a little over five and a half inches, is fully articulated, the head can pivot on the top of the neck, there is a joint at the base of the neck, her ponytail can swing from side to side, along with the tip of her braid, there is movement at the shoulder, the elbow, and wrist, she can turn at the waist, her belt is a separate piece, so that can be moved as well. The legs can move at the hip, knee, and ankle. With so many moving parts, you really do have to be careful so that you don't break anything. Because that would be awful considering what her current price is on Amazon. In addition to getting Jessie, there are also some accessories, like two additional face molds, what is really cool about these is that you can adjust her eyes using these little pegs in the back. If I move one to the side, then I can change the direction that her eye is looking. Here I imagine she's saying, Ugh, broccoli for dinner again. Oh no, why is the broccoli moving? What's up? You can have so much fun just moving the eyes around. However, it would probably be better on the actual body. So I have to remove her current face. And to do that, I just start at the ears and I pull her face 
forward. You can actually take the hair out first. I don't want to scratch it because I don't want to mess with the paint. There we go. Okay, removed her bangs. And that's an interesting look. Then we just remove her face. That's even more interesting. Position the eyes how you want them before you put the face on. And there's these little grooves here or these little holes and it just kind of snaps back into place. There we go. And we give her her hair back. And turn that around. All right, and it's about to be done. Here we go. And there she is. Ugh. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ugh. Yeah, changing out faces can seem a little brutal. But that is what this doll is all about. That's what makes it so much fun because you can give her three different looks. Actually, way more than that when you take into account how different she looks when you just move the eyes. I am going to change her back to my favorite face, which is the super happy one. I've got to be really careful. I'm like super careful here. It may look like I'm just ripping the pieces off, but I am being as careful as I can because I don't want to scratch her face. It has a matte finish. And I'm just trying to preserve this as long as I possibly could. All right, just put her hair back on and she's done. Yay! Additional hands are also included so we can switch them out. You have to remove the little wrist joint so you can attach it to a different hand to make different poses. Isn't that swell? And if you like, you can put on her hat. That's cute. And because this cowgirl needs a rope, she comes with a lasso to make the lasso. And I wonder if it works. Now let's see if I can catch a horse. And uh, that looks like a no. Close, getting closer. Oh yeah. I got it! Well, that's not really nice. Here, let's do that. There we go. I did it. <laughs> and since we have this briar here anyway, I wonder if Jessie is a good size for this classic briar. She looks good just standing next to the horse. All right, Jessie, I'll give you a leg up. Since she is super articulated, she can sit on the horse. She could probably use a saddle though. And we'll see you tomorrow for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now. You got me